Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Channel VK. My name is Brian. I found a parking lot. Back to these parking lot reviews because we're reviewing a movie today. The Martian, directed by Ridley Scott, starring Matt Damon, Jessica Chastain, and a shit ton of other people. Jeff Daniels, Kristen Wiig, Chiwetel Ejiofor. The list goes on. Gambino. Gambino's in there. Obviously, cinema spoiler show. Even though, ironically, I don't think I'm going to be talking about too many spoilers at the end. So, probably sooner or later, I'm going to have to phase out the title of all these reviews and just call it completely something else. But, here's the review. And let's try and get through this without it being super awkward as I'm sitting in a parking lot while other people are walking around. So, The Martian stars Matt Damon. He plays Mark Watney. And he's pretty much an astronaut who's on a mission with a bunch of other people. And he gets stranded. They think he's dead. And the whole movie is, surprise, he's alive and he has to try and survive on the planet. As a prequel to Interstellar, I loved it. Loved it. And yes, I had to say that joke now because it's been itching at me. Ah! But with that out of the way, obviously, yes, Matt Damon, Jessica Chastain in another space movie. And obviously, I was one of the few people, I shouldn't say few, but one of like a good amount of people that maybe liked Interstellar a lot more than others. Because I know that's a really weird, divisive movie in terms of like, it's fine, it's not good, it's really good, it's incredible. I thought it was really good. But for this, it was such a different type of movie. It is really funny and it doesn't feel in a way like interstellar where a lot of the science stuff kind of gets in the way of like well this is kind of really random and weird and yada 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 but i think what makes this film work is the fact that a lot of the comedy works well with the drama obviously mark watney is a very charismatic character and he just has line after line after line and it really works but then he also has these really great moments of raw emotion that kind of get you choked up at a lot of moments and i think it was just such a great dynamic seeing that and mainly because i'm one of the few people now going back to another analogy I actually am one of the few people that loved Prometheus, not just because of the visuals and stuff. I loved it. So I think Ridley Scott's last good movie was in 2012. Haven't seen The Counselor, haven't seen Exodus. I don't think I need to, but I think this is a great film for him to sort of step back in, in terms of the science fiction world too, because he seems to always hit it out of the park. Even if not story-wise, visually, he always just nails it. But like I was saying earlier, the cast is incredible. Jeff Daniels runs NASA, Jessica Chastain, Sebastian Stan, Kate Mara, Michael Pena, Donald Glover, Kristen Wiig, Chiwetel Ejiofor. It's like such a long list of people. This is probably an ensembles, ensembles, ensemble. It's fucking ridiculous. But I thought all of them for the most part, had a richness to them, even if they were only on screen for like a few minutes or kind of had a good amount of stuff to say and then they were kind of like out of it for a little bit. I thought each of them kind of had some moments. And I also liked how they balanced the whole, we're gonna go to them, then we're gonna go to them, then we're gonna go to them. Like I think each individual piece in the story gets enough time to develop. So once we're trying to think, well, you know what, what's happening? I we go straight to Earth. And there's a lot of great conflict with that. And again, like I was saying with Interstellar, I think what makes Interstellar maybe turned off by some people is the idea of the science. And I think in this film, it's one of those things where I think it's handled kind of the same way, but I don't think it's handled in the degree of the science is something that kind of overshadows what's happening because you kind of have to think about it and you're like, well, this and this. Like it, I think until maybe the end, the science, at least for me, didn't feel necessarily like very story driven besides the botany stuff, which I definitely say if you haven't seen any of the trailers, don't because it kind of gives away some cool elements of who Matt Damon's character is. And so one of the main key story points is him having to grow all this food, mostly potatoes, and he's sort of trying to survive until he gets rescued. And it's such an incredible thing like this film reminds me so much of like a bunch of other really at least to me interesting science fiction movies over the past couple years interstellar to name one of them obviously but i think another movie this weirdly reminded me of only a little bit like moon sam rockwell's duncan jones moon it kind of gave off that vibe a little bit too but it also gave off like a ridley scott sci-fi vibe and i thought that was really cool too but i mean at the end of the day overall i think 
this film perfectly threads the needle of interesting science, great acting, great ensemble with that acting, interesting story, great humor, great drama, emotional moments, and it keeps you on the edge of your seat, which is weird because Interstellar kind of made me feel that way a little bit, but there are some tense scenes in this film, and it is ridiculous, and I think most of the jokes are perfectly hit. I think it's great writing, which, by the way, I just realized when I saw the credits, Drew Goddard wrote this movie, or obviously adapted it from the book, which I didn't really expect. I thought that was really cool, too, so that's another plus, but overall, I definitely say go check this movie out. I'm not gonna put any spoilers in this, mainly because sometimes when these type of movies come out, ironically, there's not that many spoilers, but it's like, I don't even want to say them, because it's I just say go see the movie. I think it's a really great ride and you're going to get a lot out of it. And definitely, I think it's going to get some Oscar season buzz. So what do you guys think of the film? If you've seen it, do you like it more than me or on the same page or hate it more than me? What do you think of all the elements I talked about? Leave that all in the comments below. If you liked, please like and please subscribe if you want more movie reviews as well as music and television reviews, original stuff hopefully coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for tuning into Channel VK. Peace out, guys.